Good morning. So I'm coming at you today, gonna make just a real quick video for you, uh, showing you how I'm gonna go about making an adapter for all of these you know, modern Chinese compressors that are so popular on the market nowadays. This is actually a new product on the market. This is a Gobage compressor, it's the, the, the brand name. But as you can see, it looks extremely similar to the Smitty Built and the Iron Man and the, this one and then that one. And there's a whole bunch of different compressors that I believe are being all made by the same people in China and they're all being sold over here as different companies. These are all the 5.65 CFM compressors that you find. You'll find them on eBay and Amazon and all over the place. Fantastic product at a great price. They work real well. The problem with these is if you have any type of air inflation system or air tools or air up hoses or whatever that use a standard, I think these call these the AM or IM fittings, just a standard American style air hose fitting, those fittings don't fit onto these compressors. Like you can see, you can't just put the thing. All of these compressors use a Japanese style air hose fitting, which from the best of my research is referred to standardly as like a Nitto style fitting. Now, I don't know if that's Nitto the same as the tire company or how it works or if that Nitto is just a common name in Japan, but these fittings have, I don't know how well you can see it from there, they've got a slightly larger diameter inside and they don't fit. And these fittings with the, the larger size, these fit all of these compressors. And when you buy one of these compressors, it comes with a hose and it's already got that fitting on there so it fits and everything works great. But you're gonna have to figure out an adapter system or purchase an adapter to be able to use a standard air hose like I used in my four tire inflation system uh, that I put together. I'm sure you've seen that video and maybe that's what you led you here. And if you haven't seen it and you want to make yourself a four tire inflation system, I've got a video, check out my channel. You'll be able to find it there. So what I'm making here today is just a super down and dirty, real quick and easy adapter system so that at one end of the hose, I'll have a Nitto style fitting that will fit, yeah, there it goes, on the compressor. And then at the other end, I'll be able to use a standard air fitting uh, like I've got on my inflation system or whatever other tools or whatever you want to put together. On my maxi track, which is like the dual headed version of this compressor, I've already adapted the air hose that comes out to use this style fitting. Well, I will need an adapter system to use this specific compressor or any of these other compressors like this with my air hose system. And except for this Nitto adapter here, which I just purchased for $13 on Amazon, and it's a fairly nice, it's all metal, all aluminum, real nice setup. Other than this, I already had all of these parts just sitting in my toolbox. So this effectively is only costing me 13 bucks to do this. You can purchase, and I know, the only one that I know specifically of where you can go to, you know, this guy's website and buy it, Morflate, they actually sell an adapter system, which is essentially these two pieces. One will have a male end, one will have a female end, and they just screw them together. And so you end up with this situation, and you click this on the compressor, and then you can plug your hose into this end over here. What I don't like about that setup specifically with this compressor and with the way I have my stuff set up is with this being real rigid, you plug that into the end of the compressor and now there's a lot of leverage and I'm just worried that if something slips, falls over, whatever gets yanked on too hard, it may break this fitting coming out of the compressor. And if I have an extra little length of hose, the compressor can sit on the ground, the hose can go up, and I can have my inflation system set up on my bumper and then just run this quick little hose up. In my opinion, it just makes things easier and a little bit more secure so that you're not breaking fittings. Everything has a little bit of give to it, so that's how I'm doing this. But if you don't have all of these parts already laying around, I mean, you're gonna have to buy yourself, you know, I think the minimum amount of hose they sell is 25 feet. You're gonna be into this project for 40 or 50 bucks. You're not saving yourself any money but you could purchase, just like you would for Morflate, you can buy these fittings that one will have a male end, whereas I have two with female ends so that they both fit these hose adapters here. Uh, but if you bought each one of these, one with a male, one with a female, you could just screw them right there together and boom, you got yourself 
an adapter that'll work just fine. It will function perfectly. You don't have to have the hose. But here's how I'm gonna go ahead and set it up. I have a reusable hose fitting for each end of the hose. These are really nice, but you just kind of unscrew this. You unscrew this, you put this part into the hose, it screws together. The really nice thing about these is if something goes wrong with this hose and you're out on the trail, you can just unscrew this, cut the hose, screw it back together, and it works perfect. So it makes trail repairs really easy. And I think that's a really important thing here. So I'll go ahead, get this thing put together. See you in just a second. There's no real easy way to put these on here. You just gotta use a whole lot of brute force and just jam that thing down inside the hose. Okay, and now that the fitting is down inside the hose, take this end, screw this together here, and that creates a compression fitting that holds the hose tight onto that nipple. <laughs> I said nipple. Okay, with that screwed on there, Push this in until it clicks and that secures this little hose protector onto the end. You kind of have to push forward. Ah. ah, there it is, got it. Now, rinse and repeat. Boom, hose complete. Now we just have to put a little bit of Teflon tape on these, screw these on, and we're done. And again, quick little tech tip, same as I showed you in the last video where I built the whole system. When you're putting your Teflon tape on, make sure that you're advancing it around in the same direction that you will tighten so that when you break off the tail, the tail will fall as you screw this on and it won't try and unravel itself. And when you're tightening those on there, you wanna get it nice and tight. You don't want it to fall apart but these are aluminum fittings, so you don't have to kill it and break everything in half. So we've got one on, let's get the other one on. Boom, and that's it, now we're done. Now we have an adapter hose. One end will fit all of your specific Chinese compressors that all use this Nitto style fitting. The other end, just your standard American style air hose. It's tight, it's secure, it's not gonna leak. The ends are flexible so that you're not gonna break anything off. And maybe you saved yourself some money, probably not, but you've got yourself something that works perfect and it'll last you a long time. If you haven't already, I'd really appreciate it if you'd subscribe to the channel. Really helps us out. Click the like button and click that bell so that you get the reminders of all of our upcoming videos. I'm gonna be doing a video later today on this new compressor, which is the Gobage compressor, so you don't wanna miss that. And all of our other content, be it reviews, or we're gonna start going out wheeling now that we're up here in the upstate of South Carolina. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. We'll catch you on the next one.